six to eight months after a primordial follicle was activated to become a primary follicle. The primary follicle has matured to produce an antral follicle. In antral follicles, the granulosa cells have pumped ions in a way that causes water to accumulate in cavities. These cavities fuse to form a fluid-filled antrum, which then separates the granulosa cells into two layers, the cumulus granulosa cells, which surround the oocyte, and the mural granulosa cells, which uh, then form the wall of the follicle. These cells are interdependent upon one another and the signals that they produce. The oocyte is affecting the maturation and the estrogen production of the granulosa cells. The granulosa cells are helping to keep the oocyte in meiotic arrest and the granulosa cells begin to make the estrogen which will affect the uterine lining. The estrogen produced by the granulosa cells uh, is derived from the precursor produced from the theca interna and the theca interna and the granulosa cells are responding to the presence of FSH and LH from the pituitary. And so the antral follicle is a complex structure made of many interdependent cell types.